This is an introduction to the Sukhoi Flanker aircraft. You are currently looking at the Su-27 variant. The Su-27 Flanker is a supersonic all-weather air superiority fighter. It has a look-down, shoot-down weapon system, complemented by beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles. It is 72 feet in length, with a wingspan of 48 feet. It can reach speeds in excess of Mach 2, has a range of 2,100 miles, and can attain an altitude of 59,000 feet. The Su-27 has broken a number of speed records set by the American F-15 Eagle. It can outturn and accelerate faster than any variant of the F-18 Hornet in a dogfight. The flanker is being used in the air forces of Russia, the Ukraine, Belarus, Georgia, China, and Vietnam. We will now point out some of the important external parts of the flanker. Rudders are located on the rear part of the two vertical tail fins. These will allow the aircraft to yaw smoothly right or left. They are also used to control the direction of movement when the aircraft is taxiing on the ground. The tailorons are located at the rear of the aircraft and provide the pilot with the ability to change the angle of pitch. The white tail cone located between the two engine nacelles reduces drag and is used to store the braking parachute and the chaff flare dispenser. Currently moving on the back portion of the wing are the differential flaps or flaperons. These provide extra lift for takeoffs and drag for landings. On the front edge of the wing are the leading edge flaps or slats, which are automatically driven. These provide extra lift when maneuvering, during takeoff, and landing. The air brake is used to reduce airspeed quickly during maneuvers or to reduce pitch angle on approach and the length of the landing. The flanker has 10 weapon pylons and can carry a large combination of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground ordnance. The Su-33 is the naval variant of the flanker. The most apparent difference is the canard winglets, located below and to the rear of the cockpit. The Su-33 also has folding wings, a tail hook, and a 10-ton internal fuel capacity. This ends the training mission. If you wish to try it on your own, select the Escape key. To exit, select the Control and Q key.